Hi class, my name is Muhammad Prince. This is my week two discussion post. So an overview, I'm going to go over the ethics theories, my selected theory, and virtue theory. So uh, Aquinas wrote um, most extensively about natural law. He stated the light of reason is placed by nature and thus by God in every man to guide him in his acts. Therefore, human beings alone are amongst God's creatures. Um, they use reason to lead their lives. This is natural law. The master principle of natural law was that good is to be done and pursued and evil is to be avoided. Queen has stated that reason reveals particular law, natural laws that are good for humans, such as self-preservation, marriage and family and the desire to know God. So categorical imperatives. Um, Kant defines categorical imperatives as commands or moral laws of all pers that all persons must follow, regardless of their desires or extenuating circumstances. Um, as morals, these imperatives are binding on everyone. And um, in Kantian philosophy, a truly good act is one that can become a universal law. A merely self-serving act is by nature not generalizable and thus non-existent in a Kantian universe. Utilitarianism is normative ethics. Um, it is a type of action or right. Um, if, if it tends to promote happiness or pleasure and wrong, if it tends to produce unhappiness or pain not just for the performer of the action, but also for everyone else affected by that action. Um, utilitarianism is a species of consequentialism. Um, in ethics, it's actions that should be evaluated on the basis of their consequences. Utilitarianism is an effort to provide an answer to the practical question, what should a person do? The answer is that a person should act to maximize happiness and minimize, minimize unhappiness. This theory can be applied to public administration by viewing the consequences of negative actions in the job role. If a person is a public defender and they're not helping their clients with their legal troubles, then the consequence for that action is that they can be terminated from the position. So contractarianism, um, this is a line of, uh, this holds that a person is, people are primarily self-interested and that a rational assessment of the best strategy for attaining the maximization of their self-interest will lead them to act morally where the moral norms are determined by the maximization of joint interests and to consent to governmental authority. Contractarianism argues that we are each motivated to accept morality, first because we are vulnerable to the depredations of others, and second because we can all benefit from cooperation with others. Virtue theory um, is a theory that emphasize, emphasizes the role of character and virtue in moral philosophy rather than either doing one's duty or acting in order to bring about good consequences. Um, this theory emphasizes the role of character and virtue in moral philosophy rather than um, doing one's duty or acting in order to bring about good consequences. I do believe that virtue theory applies to public administrators because they provide a service to the public. They are, wor they are working for themselves, but at the same time, they're doing work for the good of the public and the good of the people. So I believe that virtue theory does apply to public administrators. Just want to say thanks for viewing my video.